Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with a relatively large thrift haul. Um, I went thrift shopping the other day and I did not realize it was National Thrifting Day <laughs> until I watched um, Sense Empty Nest here on YouTube do her thrift haul for that particular day. I was like, wow. But anyway, I um, picked up some stuff um, for the holidays just because it was cute. Um, but anyway, let's get started so it won't be super long. I'm gonna start with some china and glassware. Um, I picked up a set and I think it was a service for six. Um, and it's the autumn leaf pattern and it's um, made by, or it's called China Made in Japan or something like that, the company. Cause I looked it up before I got it <laughs> to make sure that um, of the value or whatever so anyway this is the pattern and this is what um, most of the pieces have on them like I just got a couple pieces but I actually have the plates the cup saucers and all that stuff so yeah those are the patterns on it and what I liked about it and thought that it would actually match was some pieces that I picked up last fall and I thought they were you know part of the same set but they really aren't. Um, here is a picture that I got last fall and I got a two serving dishes in this picture um, from another thrift store. And I just thought this was so nice. These were made, I wanna say 59 or something, 1959 or whatever. And this pattern is called Iroquois. And I don't know if you remember that haul, but anyway, I thought that they would match perfectly or they were part of the same set, but they actually match perfectly. Um, if you can see that, like there's the leaves on here and it works really well with this. So they're all pretty much, I don't wanna break anything, made around the same time. So it may have been, you know, how companies are duping other companies or whatever at that time, but yeah, I just thought this was so cool. So anyway, I wanted something, of course, for fall. I actually have another pattern called the Carlton pattern that has more of the oranges, the traditional, let me put this down here before something breaks. Um, the more traditional fall colors are on there. I mean, these are traditional too, but they're more richer, the oranges, the bright colors or whatever. But anyway, I wanted those because I thought they were absolutely stunning. So I got those and then I picked up some amber glasses because they look really good with those dishes and the ones that I already have too. So I got a set of six of these and they're wrapped so nice. I'm going to wrap them up and put them up until I get ready to use them. But they look like this. Beautiful. They're not the deep amber color, but I like the subtleness of this and they are so pretty. And they have, if you can see, oh gosh, a leaf pattern on it. I don't know, let's see. I have something I could put behind it. I don't have anything close by to where you can see the leaf pattern. Maybe you can see it now. But it has a leaf, yeah, there's a leaf pattern on it. So I thought these were so perfect for um, fall or fall tablescape or you know, Thanksgiving or whatever. So, yeah. We need to wrap this up really quick. Do a little paper rattling and some ASMR sounds. Okay. So, I think that's all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, moving on. I picked up a couple of baskets. I was looking for a basket to actually go into my bathroom. So, I grabbed this one. Brand new. Tag still on it. And I love the dark color. So I'm gonna put some towels in that. And I picked up another one at a different thrift store. And so the colors are different, again, intending for it to be in my bathroom. So I may put it in another bathroom or something, but yeah, I got that. Or I may put it in the water closet. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I'll grab that basket. Okay. Then I picked up this, oh, and it's really pretty too. I should have showed this in the beginning. Oh gosh, it's kind of heavy. Let me sit this down. It is a set. It's a teapot sugar and creamer. It was $40. It's a vintage Williamsburg Stife pewter tea set. And this is, you know, it's like, 
if you're familiar with Arthur Court, it's aluminum or I forget what it's called. But anyway, it looks like silver, but it's not. And it's more easier to maintain, um, easier to clean it and all that stuff. So anyway, I got this set and I'm hoping you can see the card that'll zoom in. So I looked it up and its value online, it's like between um, 80 and 90 dollars. So when I buy stuff, I wanna make sure, <laughs> you know, whatever. And I wanted another tea set because I actually got some that was silver plated and I just don't like the look of it. So I got this and I'm gonna clean the, you know, kinda, I guess, condition the wood on the handles of everything and then put this display this in my dining room but i love this and i love the fact that it's got a nice value to it but if something happens to it i won't be super you know upset and then i can't afford no real silver honey so or the good good stuff <laughs> so anyway i got that set i got the like i said the and i put it all here you know the creamer um and the sugar bowl somewhere here it is. Because I'm going to put all this stuff up. There's the sugar bowl. And it actually came on this tray. I don't even know if this tray is a part of it. I have no idea. But it was sitting on this tray. So I'm going to use the same tray <laughs> that it came on. And there's the tray. So, yeah. I got that. And this looks like this is going to be... Uh, I don't want anything to fall. I'm trying to stack everything. Okay. It's gonna be a long haul. Okay, so I picked up this paper towel holder. Um, I need, you know, I put paper towels in my bathrooms because I don't want nobody putting their hands on my towels. Um, <laughs> so, and it's cleaner, you throw them away. So yeah, I got this, it was $4. And I like the fact that it's weighted so when you pull the paper, it's not tipping, stuff like that. So I got that. Then I picked up these cute, um, Lord, and the name of them were just on the tip of my tongue. But anyway, <laughs> these were a dollar a piece. Cornucopias. Okay, God. My brain's not working. But there are many little cornucopias. And I thought about doing some little Thanksgiving crafts with it or whatever. I'll figure it out. But for a dollar, I got two, four, six, seven of them. Two. Yeah, seven. So, yeah. Be something nice to do maybe for a tablescape or something. So I grabbed those. Um, from that same thrift store and I if you follow me on Instagram please do um, I posted a picture of these I was trying to look them up while I was there but I had really bad service you know because of where the thrift store is but these are so beautiful to me the eyes on them are stunning but these are beautiful african-american whatever statues you want to call them black statues but look at the amber color eyes oh my god they're beautiful oh my god she's gorgeous and he is as well he has the same eyes i just think this is so beautiful i've seen these somewhere i don't know where i was trying to look them up like i said but i couldn't get any service um and they, I don't know if they were like displays or something in a store or whatever, but they have a little um, name on them. So I'm going to do some more research and see. But I want to put these like in my diva space and sit them on a dresser or something. Everybody, when I put these in my buggy, this is no lie, where they were asking, what are you going to do with them? What are you going to do? And they're stunning. They're stunning. And I mean, they had been, you know, nobody was thinking about them when they were on the shelves or whatever. But looking in my basket as i was shopping everybody was asking and inquiring they're beautiful they're beautiful and i'm like okay okay calm down oh and they were four dollars a piece and they're you know ceramic so yeah okay then i picked up this little silver tray for 99 cents because i wanted to do one of those little chalkboard you know thingy signs or whatever <laughs> everybody's doing or have done so i got that for 99 cents don't fall okay then i picked up a picture frame the frame actually matches a picture that i have over my fireplace in the den perfectly it's a huge picture and the frame matches so i thought about putting like family photos or something in here and putting it on my fireplace um so i got that it was four dollars it's a five by seven frame or i could do like a fall 
something and put in there. So I got that. Okay. Oh, I gotta put this stuff up. <sighs> but anyway, I got this um, Christmas is Coming book. It's holiday projects for children and parents. I actually got this for inspiration. It was a dollar fifty. Um, because I want to do some kids crafts. You know, we do adult crafts for ourselves, and there's some people who post on here for kids. But I kind of want to do some crafts. You know for kids that are kid friendly and you can do with your kids. I don't have any young kids, but I like crafting. So I got this for some inspiration. It's some really nice projects in here. This is a part of like a set, well, it comes out each year, just like the Southern Living books or whatever. This was from 89 and I may start trying to collect these, honey. I'm trying to finish off that Southern Living one. I think I'm short like three out of all of them when they started and I think it was 79 78 or 79 somewhere like that but anyway I got that so once I complete that collection maybe I'll start on that then I found this cute little set which I'm gonna throw this the chocolate mix and the cookies away but this was a set of the Swiss Miss cookies and cocoa um, in a thrift store and I bought them for the mugs. These are so adorable. They're red and white and I have red in my kitchen. You really can't see it from where I'm sitting now, but um, this works with the colors in my kitchen. My accent color is red. So <laughs> these are so cute, but you know, this stuff's probably as old as I am. So I'm gonna throw those away. But I got them for the mugs and how much was this? $3.99. So $2 a mug. I think those are really cute. Okay. And let me sit this because I can just see myself kicking it over and breaking those mugs. All right. Another item. You know me in African American art. I found this beautiful picture that was done in 1990 by somebody with the initials SW. I got this picture. Oh, excuse me, for $2.99. Look at that. $2.99. It was hand done in 1990 because there's the date and everything right there. That is beautiful. And I'm doing a gallery wall with black art. All kinds of black art. So this is going to look amazing in that. I have some pieces that are fabric. Um, not cross stitch. This is like the first cross stitch piece I have. But I have some pieces that I've collected over course of time they're on fabric mud cloths all that kind of stuff so that is beautiful for $2.99 y'all I had to get that gorgeous all right then I picked up this and I'm gonna I don't like the background or the plaque so I'm gonna kind of change that up a bit but it is a plaque that has the Ten Commandments on it sorry about the reflection whoops but it has all the Ten Commandments. I want to put this in the office. Um, I'm definitely going to change all this up. I'm probably painted or whatever. But yeah, I thought this was nice to have. Um, I forgot how much this was. Did I knock the tag off? It wasn't a whole lot. And I, I actually looked at it, rolled, pushed past it, whatever. And I'm like, I really like that. It just needs a little modifying. Um, I want to say it was $4.99. It wasn't a whole lot. But yeah, I love that. I really do love that. So I got that. Like I said, to go in the office. Oh Lord, I'm gonna knock anything over. Okay. <laughs> then I found this cute little Christmas tree that you illuminate. You put a candle back here. Um, isn't that pretty? You know, the stained glass. That is so gorgeous. And it's really, really heavy. Um, this was 99 cents. Oops, there we go. 99 cents so I got that oh my gosh so cute and then I picked up this ceramic witch candle holder and I looked I was like where in the heck does the candle go it's just you know there's there wasn't anything in the back but it actually goes and I don't even think it's an actual candle holder I just think it's a just a statue but you can put a you know artificial tea light in here and illuminate it perfectly she is so cute so freaking hideous oh my gosh anyway i love this 
I'm getting excited about the holiday. But look at the pumpkin. She's fun. And it goes along with sort of my vintage thing because it looks aged, you know. Um, really cute. So, yeah. Can't wait to put her out for Halloween. And then I picked up this candle sconce. I'm oh, not sconce, but um, candelabra. Um, and it's, it looks like this. It came with the candles. Um, gosh, it wasn't a whole, I think it was $4, but it came with these three white candles and I'm going to do a DIY with this. I love the fact that it has little chains. You know where I'm going with it. <laughs> um, and it has the little pointy little, um, candle holders over there. So yeah, I got these and then it came with the candles too, $4. So I got that. Then I picked up this floral arrangement. Um, really cute for, I think this can be used in the fall and transition into Christmas, but it looks like this. Of course, you know, it just stands up. So I thought this was cute to use. Um, and it was $2.99. I don't know if you can see that. I can't tell. $2.99. But yeah, I thought that was really pretty. Okay. Then I picked up again, all this is thrift stuff. Um, these two. Oh, it's from Avon. I didn't even realize that. These are little Avon bottles. It says the Avon Somewhere Cologne. I don't even know if they still make that. But anyway, um, these are perfume bottles. They were so pretty. I love that red, that deep, deep color red. And I got these to use um, for Halloween, like little potion bottles. And then by them being red... They can transition into Christmas just to use for a bit of, you know, festive color somewhere. Um, just peel off the labels or whatever from Halloween. And even for like Valentine's Day, nice tablescape or something. So yeah, think outside the box, think beyond whatever you're buying them for. But yeah, it says Avon. Let me see if I can get it to where you can see it. On the bottom, I don't know. And if some of you ladies sell Avon, Tell me if they still make that perfume. And it's not focusing. Makes me angry. There it goes. But yeah, it's an Avon bottle. So yeah, I got these. Then I found this cute sleigh. Oh my gosh. Cannot wait to like put a floral arrangement or something in there because if you remember one of my hauls, I hauled a um wheelbarrow that I got from Hobby Lobby that was red so thinking ahead to Christmas so I got this this was from Kirkland's as a matter of fact for $14.99 it has a sticker on the back um I got it for it was actually 10 and then the booth had 20% off the whole entire booth they probably were closing it down or whatever but yeah so I thought it was pretty much worth that for what I want to do with it okay I'm making sure I'm winding down. We're almost done. The last thing I got was actually the next to the last thing was this wreath. It's a burlap wreath and it has all the pretty little um, twists, you know, the little um, pipe cleaners on here. So you can add whatever you want to do. And that's why I got it. I'm going to add my own little items to it. Um, this was, gosh, I think this was four dollars or something my patience will not allow me to do this i've tried but i want a quick result you know whatever i'm crafting i want it done like right then so anyway i grabbed this to add my own little embellishments to it so that's why i got it um i mean it was worth it to me to do that and then i also got a chest to go in my water closet in the bathroom so it's actually outside i spray painted it and I'll have a video coming to me, you know, redoing that. But I'm gonna insert I'm gonna insert a picture so you can see it. But I picked that up at the thrift store as well. So stay tuned for that. But that's gonna do it. I think that's everything from my thrift haul, my national thrift day haul. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for some DIYs with some of the stuff that I picked up and decorating with the stuff that I picked up. So yeah, until my next video, I will see you then. Bye y'all.